teacher here at Earth and Star Spiritual Wellness Center. Today we're going to be channeling Archangel Raphael. Raphael is an angel that came in and has been slowly working towards shaking things up in the collective in a peaceful way. When we think of shaking things up, we think of chaos, the unknown, the unexpected surprises. But how often do we think of being shaken up in the realms of unknown blessings, surprise blessings, surprise abundance, all of these things that are good and positive and connect with us in a positive way can be done through the shaking of things up. So today we're going to allow the Archangel Raphael to come in and shake things up for us in a positive way where we can expect blessings and peace and love and healing in a way that we haven't before. Archangel Raphael is known as the healer. The name actually translates to God heals. And it's believed that he breathes the breath of God onto humanity in order to bring healing to the mind and the spirit and the body. And when we have healing in our minds and spirits and bodies, we have a state of peace. And peace is really all any of us are looking for. So as we welcome him in, go ahead and just get yourself in a receptive state, a comfortable space where you can be open to receiving anything that comes through. Over the last month or so, I've collected some questions that you guys have asked. And we're going to be asking these questions to Archangel Raphael, allowing him to answer these questions and then seeing what he has to say and what he has to offer us. I have a feeling something's coming in around light coats because I was guided towards light codes this morning as well and I haven't connected in with Raphael yet, so I don't know what he's gonna be doing. There's no plan here, but I know that DNA light codes specifically are coming up. A light code is essentially an energetic fingerprint or blueprint. We have our energy fields and it's imprinted with our blueprints, not just for this life, but for all of our lives. Accumulatively, the end goal, the divine destiny for all of our lives and what we're going to experience through all of these lives. But some of our light codes are very, very time sensitive because they hold information for our specific gifts in this life, for things we're going to do and accomplish and be in this life. So our light codes express who we are in each life, what we have to offer, our personality, our gifts in each life. It's our, our blueprint, our fingerprint, our authenticity, our individuality in each life. It's a very divine brew for exactly who and how you are in any particular life. With Light codes though, sometimes when we go through traumas and our energy field breaks away, the light code or part of the fingerprint that was laid over that in particular part of our energy, it can become scarred or disconnected or broken. Think of when you cut yourself. If you cut your finger by accident, you now have a very specific line or scar through your fingerprint. And that can happen to our light codes as well. Now, usually when we heal the energy field through soul retrieval or energy healing, our light codes automatically reconnect and reactivate themselves. But sometimes they need a little help and we can, open this up through journey work, through intending for those light codes to reactivate. And then we also have light codes inside of our DNA. And we know that our DNA has two strands and that's kind of how we look at it when we think of our DNA. 
But within light codes, there are many DNA light codes. Different healers or visionaries have different <clears throat> numbers for the amount of DNA light codes that it's believed each person has. I personally was guided towards a 17 strand DNA light code, 17. Over time, I have seen an 18th one begin to happen just because when all 17 are activated, it guides us into this thing that we now have the ability to do within other realms. It's like an achievement unlocked kind of thing where we have to get these 17 light codes activated and then the 18th one is our level up kind of thing. But these light codes, they're not hard to do. And you've probably had a lot of them activated in your life already just by living and just through experience. And through my personal guidance, I've seen that these light codes, there's a DNA light code of restoration. There's a DNA light code of healing, one of telepathy, one of love, one that I was guided to the word sweetness because this felt like the ability to recognize beauty and joy in others and it's like feeling the dripping of the joy the dripping of the nectar of the honey that comes off of life and light codes express our unique abilities and what we have the ability to recognize when we're in contact with each other Quite often when you meet somebody, you get this kind of feeling like, I know this person or I've been here before, or, we've done this before. And in the healing community, we often say, well, maybe it's because we had a past life with this person or they're part of our soul group. But what we don't often heal here in the healing community is how they simply share very similar light codes to you and when you both are expressing those light codes at the same time, you are connecting your light codes for a moment. And sometimes this is actually the feeling that you're feeling when you meet somebody and something in you lights up for a second. You are expressing unique light codes that they might share one or two pieces of as well. And these are meeting in a joyous and beautiful way. Some of these light codes that I've been guided to are also um, evolving, knowing. Uh, levitation was one of them. Not just physical levitation, but when this particular light code is unlocked inside of you, it becomes something where all things are possible. It's essentially the unlocking to or the activating of releasing all limiting beliefs and understanding that all things are possible. And when we get through all of these 17 light codes, I saw that the achievement unlocked light code was skinwalking. Bear with me here. Skinwalking sounds scary, but it's really just the ability for your soul to move out of your body and to move into other spaces. The old timey shamans in Peru and the Andes, they understood how you could skinwalk because they would shapeshift. There's stories of an old shaman woman who could send her soul into a hawk or into a condor and make herself look different ways and this was a beautiful thing to be able to experience but something that only super experienced energy workers would ever accomplish so skinwalking is something that takes all of these other unlockings to be able to accomplish but we can further than just astral projecting into other areas or spaces or animals or plants we can actually move our soul into those things and become those things for moments in time. I feel Raphael entering the room now and there's a lot of love energy happening here. So Raphael is expressing that the light code that he is going to be unlocking for you today is the light code of the healing hands. 
this is the light code of the breath of God. And everything went blurry for me just then when I said that. This is the light code of the breath of God, the healing hands. And this is what he's going to be after he answers the questions that you guys had. This is what he's going to be unlocking in your DNA light codes. So I'm super excited to be a part of this and get to do this with you. Um, we also had the question before we begin, we also had the question, how can, what crystals help us connect uh, directly with Archangel Raphael? Now on a logical level, Raphael is known as the angel of the green ray. There, there's a very heart-centered energy <clears throat> that happens with him, so the color green. And those crystals would look like malachite or emerald. Today though, I'm actually guided to channel with a amethyst crystal that was given to me by a client years ago. Um, it's from Uruguay. And this has been a very special crystal. I don't think I've ever channeled with it before, but I was very specifically guided to it. I was also guided to have blue rays in the room. So even though the Archangel Raphael is known as the green ray and you can connect in, generally speaking, through green crystals, malachite being an extremely powerful heart healing stone and emeralds um, being very powerful in the manners of clarity of heart and manifestation, whereas malachite is more about the emotional state of the heart. So these are ones you can connect in with, but we were guided slightly differently for this. And for collective channeling like this, where we're touching many different people's energies, we want to really go with our guidance and unlock as much as possible as far as frequencies and vibrations go so we can get as deeply and reach a broad spectrum as, of people as possible. So. Archangel Raphael is coming in. The, in the book of Enoch, he was known as the angel that healed the earth after it was defiled by fallen angels. So if we're looking at this fallen angels scenario, which essentially is what we now call demons, but they were all brothers at one point. All angels came from one space and then they created duality. And so Archangel Raphael, he says when these chaos energies, these lower vibrating energies have come in and made changes in our lives, then he brings in this love balance, this healing, this breath of God to really bring us back to our heart center, to bring peace um, by healing the physical, emotional, and spiritual body. So let's get him in this body and see what he has to say for you. I am a guide. I heal. And I represent all human prayers. I am the intercessor. I embody and take on all of the prayers of humanity. My name means God heals and I bring new, new healing, new information. Healing is new. When I heal, I do not restore the old. I bring you something new that can be applied into your life. And when you get new information, new energy, new technology, new love, new peace, you simply become someone different. The first question comes from Carrie. She wants to know, am I on the right path? 
she wants to know if this relationship will work for both of us. No. This is not new information. You're asking because you already know the answer. But what I have to send you is new information. Transformation, ascension. You have to let go of the past, let go of the old, let go of the things that happened to you. And let go of what you think you know about where your life is going. Because there are wonders and riches beyond your desires waiting for you. If you can only let go of who you think you are. You don't know who you're becoming yet. The next question we're being asked to sum up the next six months as if it were a book or movie. My human does not want to say this. Um, so I have pushed Raphael out for a second. Because you never know what you're going to get when you channel. And um, beings that are not earthbound do not always say things in a way that can be received well. Um, so I'm going to let Archangel Raphael back in. I'm going to take a second, let him back in, but ask him to maybe explain this in a way that it'll be better received. If I could put the next six months into a title, it would be called Holocaust, The New Beginning. Life is a spiral and there's nothing that has happened that will not happen again. But because it's not a circle, it doesn't end at the same origin point or originate at the same end point. Even when you think you're back at the beginning, you're on a different layer, a different level. So while there are wars happening, death, people are succumbing to hunger, this is a collective question and you're receiving a collective answer. While there is much hunger and suffering in the world. You're on to a new layer. Remember that all large traumas that happened in the collective were awakening the world. One person coming in and doing something to one person only changes that person's life and ripples to the immediate family. So in order to awaken the world, one person comes in and does things to many people, such as was the Holocaust. And this changed the world. A horrible thing happened that changed the world forever. And while that will not happen again right now, it's happening in a different way with different people. 
but this time when it awakens the world, it's stirring the whole pot and people are not going to be able to not get involved because it affects every country and every home and every person. Even if it's just on a personal belief level that it affects you, it will open your heart and open your mind and make you think about life and the energy of the planet and what's happening. And the earth, in accordance to its polarity, will fully awaken or fully close its eyes. And the wider the polarities, the higher the frequency of the collective. There is an end goal. It's unity. So the wider apart you guys become, the more you're expanding until eventually there is unity. Not through killing, not through absolving each other of different perspectives. The future will remain unknown to you. It is not meant to be known. But know that this is an exciting time. Things are happening. You're being held. You're being expanded. You're growing. Your heart is growing. You're being brought to a new level, a new place where you can become someone new. And whatever you choose, you will become someone new. Jocelyn has asked what does she need to know about herself to get to where she was going and while this question may have been asked about a job or work situation that you might need but isn't your passion the true answer lies within your extracurricular activities within what you do outside of work, what thoughts you think outside of work, on your free time, on your own. How well do you know yourself? How much do you love yourself? Because the one thing that you need to know about yourself is that you are currently disconnected at your heart your drive and your passions and your need for security and safety and money are not wrong, but they are disconnected from your personal security. They are disconnected from knowing your divinity, what you're capable of how holy and sacred and beautiful you are. And only when you know this and really know it, not just in your mind, but feel your holiness and sacredness in your body, feel the love that you have for yourself within, only then will those two worlds begin to connect for you. Someone wants to know the history of their three-legged cat. This was an injury, a repeated injury, not just from this life, but there have been a few lives 
where this particular soul has incarnated into bodies that then became altered in some way. Losing an arm, losing a leg, losing a tail. He's lost an ear. He's lost an eye. He's had part of a tongue before. And this particular soul has chosen to incarnate in these ways to experience what it feels like to have your physical form altered and still have to do all of the tasks, still try to accomplish things that need to be accomplished. The word challenge comes to my mind because this is him overcoming. This is a personal test that this soul chose. <sighs> Penelope has asked, a couple of questions. The first one pertaining to, in general, is there any major changes happening in her future? Penelope, think of major change and be clear with yourself for what you're asking for. Major change could be you asking for a particular thing, longing and wanting a particular thing, but maybe missing the biggest change that's actually there. You already have gone through a major change. You are a completely different person than you were 1.3 years ago. And while you might have an emotional need under that question, you've already under, undergone that particular change. But I will answer the unspoken question. Your body guides you. Much like a river, it acts as a current. And when you are stressed or angry or negative, you are in pain. When something is physically wrong, you are in pain. When something is emotionally wrong, you are in pain. And you suffer through pain. This can and will improve when you realize that you have already undergone a huge emotional change, a huge spiritual change, so that you can begin instilling and living each moment in peace and in trust, knowing that you're supported and that all of life is cheering you on. You're very special. And there's no need that you have that has gone unmet. You also had a question about your father. I'm locating him now. Your question was in reference to a teaching that you heard. And that teaching triggered fear inside of you. Ultimately, the question wasn't really about your dad. It was about your own fear. But I will once again answer the question you asked first. I see your father. 
and he has crossed over and moved on. He may have spent some time in this space that you know as purgatory because of his own guilt, his desire to punish himself, and because he wanted to think a while before moving into the next phase. But he is not there anymore. He's released himself and has moved across the veil. He's undergone most of his cleansing process and will be planning his next life soon. And he does see clearly when he plans his contracts for the next lives. The question that you may have wanted to ask is if you're not a good enough person, do you end up in hell spaces? There's powerlessness and a lack of control in the question you meant to ask. Everything is within your power. And through not controlling, do you have control? Because you set your life up exactly how it was meant to be. So by surrendering to your higher self, you are allowing yourself to take control. When you try to control every moment, you are fighting against the plan you already have in place. You are fighting yourself and this causes frustration. It takes much more than one bad life to end up in those spaces, which is why so few souls actually go there. And when they do, it's only for a certain amount of time. We all eventually return to the soul space. So while this may not seem like a conscious choice to go to places like that, it is a subconscious choice because it takes many, many lifetimes of staying in the same cycle, making the same choices and doing the same things, creating the same heaviness through life after life after life and generation after generation after generation without breaking that cycle, without breaking those old bonds, without stepping out, without experiencing something different before you sink with such heaviness to those spaces. So every bond that you break, every time that you choose to heal, Every time you speak out, you're pushing yourself more towards ascension, towards healing, towards growth. You don't have to worry. Your power lies in your arms. You can cradle your inner child and give her all of the nurturing and love that she needs. You are not without her. You are not without love. You are not without power. You're not without the word special. And your father is fine. Trust that all of your needs are met. Every single one of you, trust that your needs are met. Trust that healing can happen. Trust. Laura, trust. Trust that it's possible that it can happen.
there weren't quite words for the last message that Raphael was trying to get across. There was this huge influx of energy and it was like seeing behind my eyes. It was like seeing this, I wanted to connect it to like a white dove, but it was like seeing this white bird or energy coming out with wings, but just lots of white energy just exploding like that. And it felt like the person that this was directed to, which was, I'm assuming this Laura underscore 1111, but also it felt like it had undertones to Penelope's strength. Um, It felt like this feeling of, I've done so much. I've tried so hard. I've done so much work. I've really tried to heal. I've really tried to do all of these things. So why am I not where I want to be? And that's when I had this huge influx of that energy and he just kept saying the words, trust that it can happen. So this made me feel like it's not just a matter of effort. Like you can't effort yourself to any particular place. It's almost about the love feeling, the trust and the surrender and letting yourself be someone new and someone different every moment of every day. Quit expecting the bad things to still be there. Quit expecting that there's no change. Quit expecting the next disruption, the next chaotic thing. If it comes, then it comes and move forward through it with healing and trust and love. But don't expect it to be there so much that you don't release what needs to be released and welcome in the new and the fresh and the becoming, the strength, the love. I see you. Leave yourself open now. Feel my green rays moving through your chest and echoing through your body. Close your eyes and go within. And as I breathe the breath of God onto you, feel yourself restoring. Feel yourself receiving new, new cells, new information, new protection, new coming. Open your hands, rest them palms up, and as I open my angel wings over you and around you, this breath will begin to activate your healing hand. You will feel the energy there. You will feel my breath entering your hands and moving through your body. And that heart is so large. Feel it moving through you like a hurricane, like a tornado, like breath, like air, shaking things up, 
Expect the unexpected. Expect peace. Expect joy. Expect healing. Trust. Know me. Take a few moments to feel that activation happening. To know that it is happening. To accept and trust that it is happening. And as that breath moves through you, opening your healing hands, simultaneously opening your heart, Know that this is bringing you guidance, the new, protection, specifically protection from demons, and that every prayer that you have, whether you're speaking what you mean or hiding the need underneath. I will embody those prayers and be your intercessor. Thank you. Take as long as you need with this. Journal about anything that you felt or know to have happened or to be true for you specifically. If you have any further questions, let me know. If you have any questions for next time, let me know. But before you ask a question, make sure that you've given yourself a real chance to receive because the answers to all of these questions can be applied to everyone in some capacity. And that breath, that DNA light code activation is for everyone.